Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sanford Khan, and welcome again. I'm an economic consultant and business author. What is the one word, the one word in your investment strategies, whatever they are, that will save you a lot of money and grief over time? The one word. You know what this one word is? Well, listen to the video, to the short video. This one word is suitability. I'll repeat that. This one word is suitability. You must always ask when you're planning an investment strategy, an investment to get into, or somebody's trying to sell you an investment, whether it be an investment advisor, stockbroker, commodity broker, you name it, real estate agent, whatever. You must ask the question, is this, is this investment suitable for me, given my makeup, my character, my objectives? And only you, only you can answer that question. Only you. No one else can answer that question. You must determine if this investment is suitable for you. Don't get me wrong. The investment could be a good investment. It could be legitimate. But if it isn't suitable for you, don't do it. Don't play another man's game. Play your own game and find out what's suitable for you. <clears throat> Let me go further. If somebody is trying to sell you an investment, an investment advisor, a stockbroker, financial planner, whatever, don't jump immediately. Think about it. <clears throat> and if you determine that this investment is not suitable for you, they should immediately back off. Immediately back off. I had that happen to me about a week and a half ago. Somebody was trying to get me to buy uh, these Bitcoin investments. I'm, I'm not familiar with Bitcoin that much, but uh, I told the person, this is not suitable for me. That person immediately thanked me for my time and backed off. That's the way they should act. If somebody's trying to sell you an investment, whatever it is, and you tell them this is not really suitable for me, and they don't back off, be very suspicious of that person because that's a legal term, suitability. I'm talking on a personal level. This also applies to a corporate level. If you have a business of any kind and you're thinking about expanding and making an investment, maybe in another business or whatever down the road, uh, ask if it's suitable for your business. Does this really fit into the business, my business? long term. I worked for a corporation a long time ago when I was working that bought into the uh, thrifty drug train, a thrifty drugstore chain. It almost bankrupt them. They were a major utility. They knew nothing about running a retail establishment. The CEO decided to get into this and diversify, except that they don't know anything about it. And it almost bankrupt the company and the CEO lost his job. They eventually recovered. They stuck to what they knew, which was the energy business, and they recovered. And they recovered very well. They had a new CEO who just focused on what brought them, uh, what brought them the revenue and the profit. So stick to what you know. Stick to what you know and ask if the investment that you're thinking of getting into, whether it be on a personal level or a corporate level, is it suitable for you? If it's not suitable for you, even if it's a good investment, don't do it. Just play your own game and play your own game well and find your own game. Until we meet again, remember for all of us, a secure future lies in economic growth. Appreciate if you could pass this video on to other people and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until we meet again, may you prosper. Bye now.